So in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use vector tile data and map that to items in our Power BI dataset to create a choropleth map using IconMap Pro for Power BI. So let's kick off by adding on the IconMap Pro visual onto our report canvas. So let me expand that to fill the whole area for report. And now we need to configure our data fields. So my data sets some open crime data for England. And I've also got a geography hierarchy here with local authorities and lower super output areas. So let's add on to start with our local authority code in the ID field. And I'm also going to drag that into this field well here called GeoJSON KML tile feature reference. And what this does, if I drag the local authority codes in here, it's going to use the items in this field to match against the properties that are held in my um, vector tile there. Um, now, before we add the vector tile there on, I'm just going to change the map background to Positron, just so we've got a more appropriate map background uh, for creating a choropleth, a choropleth map on top of, so we won't be distracted by all of the colors in the map background. So now we're ready to configure the vector tile there. So I'm gonna go into data layers, I'm gonna turn off circles, because we're not gonna draw any circles on this map, and I'm gonna turn on vector tiles. Um, now my vector tiles are hosted on a uh, remote Geo server. Um, they're in Mapbox protobuf format. And all I need to do is paste in the URL of my tile server in here. And you can see straight away that we've got those vector tiles rendering on the map. Um, now you can see that we've got local authority districts here for Scotland, Northern Ireland, England and Wales, but only the ones in England have been coloured. And the reason for that is the ones in blue have been matched to items in our data um, and the ones in grey haven't been matched because I don't have any data for Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland. Okay, so let's see if we can improve the look and feel of this a little bit better. So let's look into the uh, formatting options. Um, first of all, let's have a look at these unmatched colours. So, as I said, I'm displaying tiles for Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, even though they're never going to match anything in my data. So what I might do is just change the transparency of those to be 100%. So basically they disappear. So I've set the fill transparency and the outline transparency. So uh, Basically, they now won't plot at all. Um, now let's deal with the ones that have matched my data. So currently, we've got all of these um, local authorities in blue. But in order to create my choropleth map, I'm going to use conditional formatting and base the colouring on the number of crimes in each of those local authorities. Um, actually, using a gradient. There we go. Let me hit OK. Now the map should be redrawn with all of our local authority areas shaded appropriately. Let's change that outline colour to black as well. That should look a little bit better. And maybe we'll make that outline 0.5 pixels wide, a little bit thinner. There we go. Now, because these are vector tiles, I should be able to zoom in all the way with lots of detail without losing any quality my map. Hopefully that will redraw in a moment. There we go. So you can see that I can zoom in to all the way in on my map with lots of detail and we don't lose any of the definition on those polygons in the way that we would have to if we were using shape files or GeoJSON files. We would have to have simplified them down to such an extent that we would have lost all of this fine level of detail. Now, the other thing that we can do um, is enable drill down on our map. 
So whilst we're currently looking at local authorities, we can also go down and have a look at lower super output areas. Now, why don't I just filter to London, just so we're dealing with a smaller data set for this example. And I'm going to increase the number of drill down levels to two. And you'll see here on the formatting properties, I now get a second box in order to put in a, a second URL for a different layer. So I'm going to paste in the URL for low super output area vector tiles. Now, if I go back to my field well, I can drag in low super output area here to create the hierarchy and enable drill down options. Um, but I also need to add in low super output areas here so that we know that we're going to look up against the low super output area code at that level of detail. So let's turn that on and drill down into Westminster and hopefully this time we'll get lower super output areas. Now you'll notice that when I'm navigating about the report, let me zoom out for a moment, the report isn't able to automatically zoom to the places that have got data. I'm having to manually move the map around to find where these appropriate local authorities are according to my region filter. And the reason for that is that when I'm using vector tiles, the map itself doesn't have any concept of where these local authorities are. It's basically only going to plot them if those tiles would be displayed on the current map view. But what we can do is add a bit of a cheat. If we pull in our latitude and longitude, into these boxes here. Hello, and then you'll find that the map will now automatically start zooming to the appropriate place where it can find those longitudes and latitudes to know that it stands a good chance of finding the appropriate map tiles. And whilst I've just used longitude and latitude for my crime data, so what it's going to do is it's going to average each of those points uh, for each local authority or lower super output area. Um, if you have the top left and bottom right bounds of each of those boxes, you can use the first two longitude and latitude boxes, but also use the destination longitude and latitude boxes as well for the top left and bottom right coordinates but I haven't got that in this particular data set. And of course it works now as well, happily for lower super output areas too. So we should be able to, to zoom around the map quite happily, drilling into various local authorities and the map will zoom in and show the local authority, the low super output areas in those areas.